Hello. We are live here and direct from Toronto, also known as T dot, also known as the Six. And if you're wondering where that is, in Canada. I'm just having my morning coffee. What a long day. Um so how are you guys doing? Tell me, tell me where are you joining from today? And please let me know if you can hear me. Because that's always the most important thing to be sure that you can hear me. Hi, Beverly. Okay, we have our guest just joining. Yeah, Polka. <laughs> yeah, Polka, this is the first time you're joining. Mm. Hey, Beverly, nice to hear from you. Hope all is well with you. Okay, I'm just trying to add my guest. Um, I thought that she's received the invite. Okay, she's on. <laughs> hi, Joan. Hi, hi, hi. Happy Thank Saturday. You. Hi, happy Saturday. To you, you look fabulous. Wow. You look gorgeous. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I feel like I need to step up my, my game the way you're looking. Mm. Okay, well, we'll Thank say you. nothing. Well, you're looking good. Good to have you. Thank you. I was just catching up with some people just joining. Tell me where you guys are joining from. Because, well, you know, I'm here in Canada. It's not too cold today. I think it's like two deep. Oh, seven. Okay, so right after this year, I'm going out. <laughs> we don't play with the sun here. Okay, well, welcome, 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 everyone, to the show. As usual, this is IY's Conversations with Joan. My name is Joan. Um, and this is just open conversations. Like, it's not, there's no script. We're just talking about life. You know, some challenges, some wins, you know, some things we like, some things we don't like, some things we figured out, some things we haven't figured out. Everything is fine. There's no good, wrong, bad. We're just here to learn. We're just here to help one another to I rise. So that brings me to my book. If you haven't bought my book still, first of all, I'm not talking to you anymore if you haven't bought my book, but if you haven't bought my book, go buy the book. It's available on Amazon all over the world, and it's also available in bookstores in Nigeria. So today we have with us a very amazing person. I'm going to let her introduce herself, but her name is Chiwe. She's a multi-talented person. Like, you know, all those Jack and Janes of all trades. Mm, she, she, she wears the crown. Like I'm one of them. I'm, I'm that too. Trust me. Uh, some people call us restless, but we just say, you know, we're just multi-talented. Um, but she's a multi-talented professional. She's a coach. She's also a multi-published author. So today's really, really special for me because I think, you know, there's a lot that I share in common with her. And I'm sure a lot of you who are here on the show as well, you know, you probably have a lot of talents and you're won wondering how you can harness it to have and create the life that you want. So without spilling too much, I'm going to hand it over to Chiwe to introduce herself to us briefly. Hi, I'm Chiwe Azania. I like to call myself a multiprino, <laughs> but... Um, Sometimes, you know, it comes with a lot of pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Today I'm here because um, I am an enabler. Enabler means that I enable people to identify who they are, their talents, and then they are helped to discover their destinies, their purpose actually, so that they can fulfill their purpose, you know. Okay. So that's it. I am the helper and the oh. enabler. Oh, wow. So she's a helper and an enabler. You guys take down her details because you might need help at the end of this show. Okay. So you also mentioned that you're a, a multipreneur. So first of all, is that a real thing? I, I don't know. Like the first time you mentioned it to me, I was like, sounds like me. So I don't know if it's a real thing. I, I didn't look it up in the dictionary. Unfortunately, I did not Google it. So is that a real thing? And if it is, what exactly does it mean? So what it means is that we are multiple talented, you know, we have multiple talents mm -hmm. and um, we're just wrong with it. But at a certain age in your life, you have to decide, you know what, I can't be running all over the place doing everything. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so over the years, we've done so many different things. We succeeded in a lot of them. Some of them, we just carried on as, you know, our passion. Mm-hmm. But um, today, I can tell you that um, I'm a life coach. And okay. life coaching, what it has helped me do is that it has helped me discover exactly who I am. So you find out that the reason why we are multitasking, multipreneurial, and all that stuff is because we really did not understand purpose. We really did not understand identity. You know, so reading your book, I realized that you and I, we had a lot in common, you know, a lot in common. We're busy, talented, doing too many things. And at the end of the day, through it all, you're actually seeking to discover who you are. Mm. You know, you're seeking. So you keep running. And when you don't have a goal, what happens is that any goal would do. Okay? Okay. Okay. Any goal would do. So being a life coach today has taught me that we need to streamline exactly what is the most important. So when you know who you are, You identify exactly who you are. And the Mm -hmm. easiest way to get that done is to have a coach. Okay. Because without a coach, you will keep jumping and actually keep expecting people who can help Mm -hmm. you to be the ones to help you. So you're looking for your own places. Amongst your family members, amongs your friends, amongst your... And the days will keep flying and you're not living a life of purpose. But when you go to a life coach and... Okay, I think your your internet is a bit shaky because you're kind of cutting off. Mm -hmm. I'm on my all your talents mm-hmm. everything will come together and you begin to purposefully okay oh. I can hear you but it's a, it's, it's a bit shaky oh. I can tell you but it's a bit shaky your internet is going in and out so the coach okay, can, can you hear, hear me, me now can you worry about that are we st- okay you can hear me I okay hear- so you, you mentioned quite a lot of things I can hear uh, you hopefully you can hear me Okay, great. Okay, so and the people are making a lot of comments about, you know, coaches help to give clarity and seeking validation in the wrong places. Very, very key. And a lot of us are stuck in that, you know, where we're just spiraling, you know, talking to the wrong people, trying to find that clarity. But before we get into Mm -hmm. life coaching and how that helps you to discover your purpose and to even discover what your real talents are, because talents usually are just a sign of who you are. So you're trying to find yourself, but you're just expressing yourself in different ways because you're really trying to find that your inner essence. So before we get into that, because that's the next step, let's go back to you a little bit. How did you get started? Because I know you personally, so I know the journey you've been through. So maybe you can just share with us some of that journey. Like it's a lot. You've done a lot of things in in the last, you know, couple of decades. So maybe you can just tell us a little bit about that journey. Okay. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I can hear you. Okay, now I think you're frozen. Hang on, just hang on. The network keeps going in and out. I don't know if it's just me. I'm I'm guessing it's everyone as well. Uh, Okay, try again now. I think it's stable now. Okay, so right from childhood, from age three, four, I realized that I could sew and I could draw. So those were wings, okay? I could make beautiful clothes, Throughout primary school, secondary school, university, I made all my clothes myself. Oh, wow. Okay. And I even had a fashion show in the university without real for it. So the thing about me, what talents I had, I mean, I remember when I was in secondary school in the fine arts class, I drew a beggar. We were asked to draw a beggar. And I beggar, and my fine arts teacher wrote on it, wow, what a handsome beggar. You know? So <laughs> in it, I wanted to graphic arts, but for you know Nigeria, um, sometimes you find out that the results that you get is really not the best test of your 
Yeah, that is true. The knowledge. Mm -hmm. Finding myself. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? So yeah. I ended up to do library. So despite the talents, I ended up, you know, moving away from graphic arts to doing library studies. It wasn't my choice. Law was what I actually thought of, you know, architecture. In fact, I was the most confused child I knew because I could do anything. I couldn't do the sciences, just my sciences, because I just didn't think they were being taught right. And you know, in Nigeria, if a teacher is not too good, you end up in the subject. So that gave me a lot of conflict, and I ended up studying library studies. So studying library studies, what it did for me was that it just gave me that platform. Incidentally, in secondary school, I was a library prefect. How I became library prefect, I don't know. But I ended up going into books. So I guess I have a destiny with books. So I started with books, and today I'm an author. You know, because life also threw me a hand that I began to write. I started writing poems in the university. From there, I had this issue with my son in 2009. He had a liver issue. I chronicled the whole work. It was a surgeon to India, and that made me now do my first book. The first books were poems. This other one was a book called More Than a Miracle. It's available on Amazon. And you know, it was worth celebrated. My son had a miracle at Blossom. I called the book, you know, he had a liver transplant, which actually made medical history, you know. So that one had duration, but that particular challenge was brought me to where I am today. Because in the past 10 years, from the year, well, two, 12 years, my son is 13 now, but from that particular incident, I now deliberately decided to start zeroing into writing. So I started writing. And in writing, I wrote for magazines, I wrote for people, I wrote for different oh, uh, platforms. Someone is saying we're both frozen. Sorry, Yapoka, can you just confirm that we're both frozen so you can't, we're not moving and you can't hear us? And maybe Tutu, wow. you can also, or you can confirm, because I can hear you, I can see you, so. How many people can hear me? If you can hear me, can you okay. give me... Oh, Tutu says she, Tutu says she can hear. Okay. Okay. You so know, so for, for trajectories of life, I became a better writer. Okay? And then at some point, I started slowing down. From my 40s, I started slowing down, running around, doing all manner of things, to, you know, just earn an income. And I decided that I wanted to do things that were more intellectually related. Okay, so um, I was writing... Before then, I was doing decorations, sewing. I did a bit of that. I, I still. I hope you guys are looking at the list of all the things she's done. Oh my God! Sewing, drawing, writing, decoration. And, wow. And then I'm an insurance broker. I did insurance for 29 years. You know, officially I'm still an insurance broker, but I'm not running around anymore chasing business and all. Because I can't divide myself into too many things. But what we need to do is set up platforms so that we have synergy. I have my insurance business. I have somebody who is running with me. You know, I have an arrangement with him. So I don't need to be doing that every day and all that. Then um, uh, for the decorations, I don't have to, I don't even look for jobs anymore. But when something comes to me, I have my team that are on ground that can work. We are focused on writing and, and, um, doing my life coaching mm -hmm. okay so you know uh, well you just mentioned a lot of like i thought i was a uh, jane of all trades you're truly you truly done a lot but i like one thing that you said and i you know like to, to echo it as well like nothing that you go through is a mistake everything is leading you closer to that purpose you know and and sometimes it's so easy for us to think Absolutely. that things don't converge. But if you just keep at it, you might think, oh, I'm so confused. I don't know which way to turn. There's just so much going on. But you'll be surprised that eventually all those 10 different things you were doing will actually converge.
But I think the next exactly. step is, you know, like for people who have now been at this for like 20, 30 years and it's just driving them crazy, they're still doing too many things. How do they get on that journey now? Because the goal is really to find that purpose and then use all those talents, all those skills you learned along the years, all those things that we thought were mistakes. Oh, we got to study library studies because we're... it wasn't a mistake. It was for a reason. So how do people who are feeling very stuck and feeling like, okay, what next? How do they embark on that journey to find that true purpose and harness all these talents? Answer to that is that first and foremost, they need a life coach. Life coach, you know, what a coach does for you is that in two weeks, you can have clarity and you can begin on the right path. Without a life coach, what happens is that you just keep tearing yourself, looking for this, looking for that. As they say in our parlance, what, what you're looking for in Sokoto, you have it in Shokoto. And you know, your book, I would liken your book to the book, uh, The Emist. You know, mm -hmm. Santiago went all over looking for, for his treasures. At the end of the day, what he was looking for was just by, at, at the corner of his life. So I, mm -hmm. uh, of his, there, his base. And I will myself as an example again. Identity is what I had been looking for all this while. Multiprena, am I the... Different people know me for different things. My insurance <laughs> professionals, they know me as an insurer. A lot of them don't know. Aesthetics, people know me for aesthetics. As a writer, people know. So different things, even a dress, people know me as a culture maker and all that. But the thing is that in, through in identity. So today, as I'm a life coach, I know that what I need to deal with is identity. So, so I, help, I help people find exactly who they are. And I'm not going to tell you the tools. I, I won't say it out here. Anybody that wants to know should get in touch with me. And I will tell them exactly what they need to do. There are so many tests that you need to do that will tell you exactly what to Harmonize all those multiple talents. You begin to put them together, who you are. And mm -hmm. what happens is that you will become a happier person. You will become a then you will know which you mm. will know which ones to celebrate. Mm. You will know exactly one that God has called you. And in doing that, you will be a more fulfilled person. I see a lot of people, you're too numerous. You know, you're too numerous on this platform. And thank you all for joining. I Collins, I see you. You're numerous. I can't even begin to mention your names. Thank you, family. Thank you, friends. Thank you, associates. Thank you. <laughs> you know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just keep listening. Thank you, thank you, friend. Mm -hmm. John. Okay. So you mentioned you mentioned you mentioned that you know clarity is probably the first step. Uh, you know, and I agree to a large extent that clarity is the first step, but. I still struggle with thinking that every everyone has just one one purpose. Like people always think a purpose is a job or a career path, you know. I'm not convinced that that's what purpose is. I think we're we're all here to serve humanity in one way or the other, and sometimes it can just show up in different ways. Is it really about finding that one true path or is it just about finding who you are and what you want to show up in the world as? And it might show up in different ways. Like you can be a, you can sell today and be an insurance broker tomorrow. As long as the end goal is that you're helping people X, Y, Z, whatever your purpose is. What, what are your thoughts on that? I think she's frozen. Okay. You, you, can you hear me? Yeah. I mean, I can hear you. Okay. You know, the answer to this is still boils down to identity identity once you have I can you hear me once yeah once you identify the mandate God, and you know the people to you know to to lead you will definitely succeed mm -hmm. that is true In NLP, we have a, what we call 
um, you know, it's as that you do linguistic programming. Okay, you are asked who is. Okay, I think you're so you're frozen you again. The network keeps. Again. Oh my gosh. Third world issue. Tell me when you can. <laughs> okay, good. It's it looks stable now. Okay, let's try again. So, I'm a neuro linguistic uh, therapist, NLP therapist. One of the okay. exercises that we we have done and that we can do is that you ask who is driving your red car driving your red car means who is in charge of your life so we find out that usually from 0 to 25 years your parents your family your your people who are responsible for what you do especially in this part of the world where they tell you go and study law and do insurance go and do this and that so you find out that you might come out go to the university studying what you didn't want to study you come out and get a job you didn't want to do, then you end up getting being, being grateful to people for fixing you where they want you to be. So some people actually want you to, to live in their own shoes. But that's not your core. That's not what your, your, your destiny is. So what happens is that you begin to pick who you are. It conflicts you. If you have a talent, your great talent, and you have family members that are telling you that is not going to feed you, you know, that's not going to feed you. So you, you, you end up with a confusion on your head, like I had, okay? So at the end of the day, while you're struggling for identity, you, after a while, if you're not careful, your self-esteem begins to erode. So you're dealing with a lot of things. And then in Africa, they begin to Okay, I have lost you again. Hang on, hang on. Are you sec. with me? Okay, if, if, yeah, go on. Am I frozen? I can hear you now. You were frozen for half a second, but you're fine now. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Okay, so through all this... Yeah. Okay, so through all these challenges, you're hitting 26, 27, 30, marriage. Of marriage... The marriage issues might be, or it might just be a direct pressure. But even if it's not direct, begin to feel it yourself. And if you know it, you get married. And if you end up marrying, you, you begin to toy. Either you have a corporate job or you are home, you want to be a, a stay-at-home mom, play, you know, toying with your talents and, you know, business and whatever. not be able to excel because the pressure is on you. Little children to take care of, family husband and all that but by the time your children are getting into second school university you might then begin to define exactly who you are because what it is you're doing you ought to have done it for 10 thousand hours which is what michael Gla um, um mike uh, what's his name gladwell says that when you have done some malcolm gladwell when you've done yeah. something for 10 thousand hours you should have mastered it okay so so by then, you, you, you ought to begin to stabilize to say, this is exactly what I'm going to do. But to still nail it, you need a, if you don't have the clarity by yourself, exactly know who they are. A lot of people know exactly, but there are so many that don't know. They have that illusion, you know, that, that, that blocks their, you know. So what they do is that they just keep jumping from one thing to the other. Mm -hmm. Or their stock. People need to get on stock. That is why I'm here. I am here to help people get on stock. Anybody that mm -hmm. needs to get on stock. Okay. Wow. That like you know that that that's so amazing. And like you know, there are people saying in the hello, Chidi, can you hear? Hello. Yeah. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. You froze again for for a minute, but I was just saying, you know, like that, like that is really powerful, and I'm sure that a lot of people, like a lot of us, myself included, we grew up in that type of environment where, 
you know, most of us did study what we didn't want to study, ended up in jobs that we didn't like, life issues came up, you know, other priorities in life came up. And then you were more lost than you were before, a lot of confusion. And now people are now in their late 30s and early 40s and late 40s, and they're more confused than ever. And they're looking at the way ahead and they're like, oh my God, retirement is around the corner. And it feels like I haven't even started my life because you've just been in that confused state where you're just spinning and you're not really sure of who you are, let alone what it is you want to do. So I know you've mentioned that, you know, you're an LLP um, therapist, you're a life coach. You know, some people might still be skeptical about getting a life coach because, you know, let's be honest, a lot of people still don't really understand what the value is of a life coach. Um, how can they start to do some introspection on their own? Are there any tips that you can give them to start to gain some clarity if they're not really looking to go that really large step of getting a life coach? Or is it you have to get a life coach if you really want to make that change in your life, if you really want to step out of this stockedness, you know, where we've been, where we've been, you know, conditioned and formed by our environment, our parents, you know, whatever it is. And now you're at the stage in your life where you're like, I'm tired. I really want the clarity and I want to get started. I might be 45, 50, 60. It doesn't matter. Like, you know, when you wake up is your morning. You know, the Bible also says you cannot go into the ground with all the talents you've been given. You need to find what it is today. Find your purpose and start on that journey. What can you say to people to help them today if they don't want to hire a life coach? Okay, um, John, I'm going to make reference to your book, Finding Yourself, Discovering mm -hmm. Your Need, um, Concept of Ikigai. Ikigai, yeah. You know, Ikigai. If they wake you up any time, you don't mind doing it free of charge. You can do it effortlessly, you know, so you can earn from it. You know, you begin to find a way how to do it and discover their talents. Some have not discovered their talents. Some have multiple talents. But your options and say, which are those talents? Which are the ones that you don't mm -hmm. even... When you have that, then you begin to ask yourself, which mm -hmm. kind of... willing to pay you for it, then you can actually begin by doing a few free of charge. Yeah. And if you feel free of charge, you now to gain the confidence to do them more. If you do them, you begin to earn. And by the time you become mm -hmm. mastery of it, what happens is that more people will be willing to pay you so much for it. That was my story about decorations. When true. I started decorations, I'll attend events and they did. This was in, in the early times and I'm like, ah, I could have done better. But I didn't even start. But eventually I started doing free. And before you knew, people were paying me. And that, that those days when a lot of people were not even doing decorations. And so I started and I had a, a you know, I had my vision for it. I had my passion for it. My, my goal for it was not so large. And that is where I, I realized that I had shot my leg, not having clearly defined goals. If you don't clearly define goal, what happens is that after a while you burn out because you probably have worked in a way that isn't so smart. And when you're working in ways that are not smart, you burn out. And then other people, if you don't also understand the SWOT analysis, your strength, your uh, weaknesses, your uh, opportunities, opportunities and the threat. You need to put these things in, in harmony to be able to flow with whatever it is you're doing. And if you're doing it, you know, you have to ask yourself, what is that I can do and do so deep that nobody can do it as good as I am? I can. When you know that and begin to do it, you sit at it, you know. But other than that, wow. you know, there was a, you asked a particular question. I don't know if I've answered that question. You know, you hear me? so, so, so I, th I think you did be because, yeah, I can hear you. So like, you know, you mentioned Ikigai and I actually have it in my book, uh, page yeah. 60. So like, it's a really, really simple exercise. Like you just explained, you know, and that's a way, you know, they can get started from there. 
because the goal is really to find out what it is that you do if you don't know what your purpose is you need to start from there what is it what is it that i enjoy doing that people are willing to pay for and people actually need and you start doing it and like chima said you can also start by doing it for free first of all because a lot of us were nervous we're like oh they're gonna laugh at a lot of the fear that we feel is because we think someone else is going to laugh at us. Let's be honest, you know, but as you gain that confidence, you will find yourself more and it would attract more people to you. So thank you very much for sharing that. Um, so if people now wanted to go the senior step, which is now to get a life coach, how did, cause I know I've, I've had coaches in the past that we were not a fit, like, you know, it doesn't make them bad or me bad. We're just not a fit. So how do people go about, you know, finding a life coach and really finding someone that really fits with who they are, their true essence that can help them to get to that next level. So we live in a digital world now. So everything is online. I mean, a lot of people are coaching different, you know, different people sets for coaching. I, my, my, my special, being the enable so i enable you identify your talents i enable you discover your purpose I, I enable you define exactly who you are and we have the tools for doing that you don't know the tools i i know the tools mm -hmm. a coach that thing you are struggling with with that you're waiting to get in struggling for 10 years you can get it in one session you can get wow. it in three sessions one session your clarity I I will just one session will... wow. wow that's the truth that's the truth and i tell you let me mention my coach my coach is a terrific guy he's called Larry Olushola. He actually joined. I don't know if he's still on. So Larry, I also know Larry from a couple of, maybe like a decade and a half ago. So I don't know if he's still on, but yeah, he's amazing. Help me transform. Yeah. Larry has, he's, he's a transformational coach. There is no way he coached like all of fire. Those of us he has coached. Well, all. Mm -hmm. We some of us when you begin to coach it finds the people who are going to follow you. Because that's sick. Everybody is seeking for identity. Everybody is looking for oh, yeah. So if you Everybody. can identify yeah. your tribe, yeah. your life will be calmed. Okay. And I see the world transformation going on, you know. I see a lot of transformation. So talk to me a call and I'll be there. John has written okay. the book I write. You need to read that book. That book is the bomb. Go, go to her platform on, on Instagram. We'll see what is going on with I rise. And I am grateful <laughs> to God for that book at a point in time because Despite my closeness to her, I did, didn't know so much about her until I read that book. I did not even know that we had so much in common until I read that book. And I'm, I'm glad, to be a, glad to be a part of that book. You know, I Rise is the book. So for people that don't Go know, get your copy on she Amazon or wherever edited, it is. She, All over. Yeah, she edited the book. So I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful to you for editing the book. So yeah, so you're part of my story. This is us. And she's at the back of the book thank as well. You. Yeah, her name is there as well. So thank you, Chima, for that. Okay, so okay, so so okay, so you've been amazing. You've told us so much. You know, get unstuck. Like, don't feel like you have to keep spinning forever. You know, even if it's 10, 20, 30 years, doesn't matter. Get a coach, transform your life, you know, really be able to identify. First of all, if you don't even know what your talents are. The coach will help you identify your talents. The coach will help you to identify your purpose. You know, and then you can really start to set those clear goals. And feel like I wake up every day with a purpose. I wake up and I know exactly where I'm going. It's not, oh, I wake up and it's like another Monday, another job. Oh, somebody killed me already. And a lot of people live that way. 
it doesn't have to be that way. Life is really not designed for us to feel that way. You wake up every day and just be like, uh, what day is it? Is it Friday? And it's Friday. You're like, thank God it's Friday. No. Finding your purpose will make you want to live life. Make you want to wake up every day and be like, I know why I'm here. I know what it is I need to do. And that way you're, com you're always motivated. So thank you very much for sharing. So what can the world expect from you now? So I know you've told us a bit Thanks. about your journey, all the things you've done, all the multiple businesses, the entrepreneur in you setting up business after business. What can we expect next from you? Well, let me, let me say that I started coaching way back, uh, let me say about 25 years ago. I had always coached one without realizing that coaching is my life. Without clarity i didn't know that that was my identity thank god for land revolution because he is the catalyst and he solves all problems you know um land Re actually is somebody who decided you know what i'm going to hold your hand you're going that all my work in many things, everything culminated to life coaching. So in life, you, you experience is key. You must have it because when you have the various kinds of experiences, it will help you be a better person. It helps you to be seasoned. You have to have empathy. You have to have, you know, patience. I know I'm a person. Sometimes I get impatient though. But um, you can't live in Nigeria and... and, and, and... <laughs> And not have oh no, I'm not from time to time. <laughs> but today, as a life coach, actually, you have to now begin to mastery of your emotions, which is part of the things that I have done. You know, emotion mastery. You know, begin to streamline what you're doing and begin to say, you know what, I'm going to begin to grow in coaching. I am doing various courses to improve what I know. It's a lifelong learning. Just like medicine. If you do medicine, you don't just wake up and say, I'm a doctor. You just, you know. So life coaching is you have to keep reading. You have to do some psychology courses. I already did some, you know, in the university. So that also, so, and you know, you have to, there are so many courses to do. And the more you do, the more you specialize. The more you specialize, the more you end. The more you end, the more fulfilled you get. The more fulfilled you get, better and faster you get in and living your life of purpose. So that's the journey I'm on right now. And like I said, I'm not going to be running around doing too many things. Because being a multiplayer, I will give you an example of people who are very wealthy. Okay? What they have done is that they knew their identity. They clearly understood purpose. And because they knew identity, they understood purpose, they defined exactly what they ought to be doing. And that, they now put their businesses on that thing. But then, end up having sub-businesses that feed the main business that they do. So that is where purpose actually works for you. You now begin to, mm. to pull your resources. Your talent gave you talent mm. for a reason. You know, in the Bible, he talked about give one, another got two, another got five, another got ten. At the end of the day, the one mm. who got one, what he took, taking from him and giving to the person who had ten. Ten, I have ten. Why won't we multiply our talent? Right. But we have to be running all over the place. Using the talent. No, you have to stay in one place, put the talent together so that you will begin to learn purpose. And when you do that, what happens is that you will pick. Okay? You will definitely pick because you begin to attract the people. You begin to attract the resources. You know, you will begin to, the law of attraction will begin to be there. Yeah. You will have no option other than. It's going to be a global call, you know. Thank God for, for, for the internet. Because as I'm talking now, yeah. the 
Bentley connecting from Switzerland. We have people. Okay, you're frozen again. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I can't hear I can't hear you yet. Hang on. Am I the only one that can't hear her at all? Can't hear you. Okay. Uh, Chima, you're frozen, so I can't hear you, and I don't think anybody else can hear you, too. We can't hear you. Uh, hang on. Maybe. Mm, let me see. Can you try again? Your sound is gone completely. Can't hear you. So maybe you have to drop off and come back. I don't know if that will help. I don't know if you can hear me, but um, maybe that can. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can remove you, but I can't even do that. Okay, yeah. Leave and come back. Okay, so she's just going to drop off and we'll see if we can add her again. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Uncle. That's my dapper uncle, you know, always looking great and supporting all of us. Thank you very much. Yes, now we can hear you. Uh, yeah, you're audible. Great. Uh oh, by great. Good. So, okay. yeah. I'm sorry about the network. It's okay. It happens. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. So I was saying that, yeah, so it's a global village and you are connecting from Canada and I say thank you. He's been a, a, he's been a pillar, you know. Thank you, Collins. Beverly, Be Collins is my colleague in coach, coaching, you know, he's in the family of uh, the coaching. Um, Beverly, I came from Switzerland. I have people from Port We have people from the UK. We have people from the US, all over the place. I thank you all. I welcome you all. And you're going to be hearing more from me from today henceforth. I look forward to this particular day, you know, on I rise uh, on the RI. Um, John, I know your mom is somewhere here. I, I, I believe she's somewhere here, you know. Um, I, 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 my I auntie, seen her the rest of the family. For us. Time, I haven't you're seen going her today, but I haven't seen her today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like so much words of wisdom you shared with us, you know, and you know, like I have coaches and I always tell people, get a coach. Like, you know, life is too short, you know, to be confused, to be running around like a headless chicken. And that's what Chima has just explained to us, the value of getting a coach. Honestly, mm -hmm. it's the best decision I ever made. And obviously, like you can see, it's the best decision she also made. And now she's using that, you know, all the skills she's learned to help other people as well. So Chima, I know you edited the book. But what do you have to say to people who have not read I Rise? Go get the books. Yeah. Chima, you're frozen again. Yeah. Did I miss something? Okay. I can't hear you, but you're frozen. But Now, I was asking what, what advice you have for people who haven't read my book. Please go get I Rise. Joan is a phenomenal writer. She has a nailed coaching. She is motivator. I will tell you that. Thank you, Joan. Thank you. I should have been the first on this show. I deliberately chose this day because 
this is the appointed day that God wanted you and I to meet on the I Rise Conversations. And I'm glad that I'm here today. Awesome. You know, I'm, I'm glad to be here. So tomorrow, next tomorrow, we are rising and we will continue to I Rise because the sky is not even the limit. <laughs> people are going to the moon, people, the galaxies. We are going there. We are, we are moving together, you know, and we are all carrying each other together, you know. So that's it for yes, us. We yes, we yeah. Well, th thank you so much. Like someone's asking where to get the book. So it's available on Amazon. And if you're in Nigeria, it's also available on all the online platforms and the bookstores as well. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Chinwe, for such an amazing conversation. I just saw your daughter has joined. Hello, Amaka. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Next week, we're going to be continuing because you know the conversation never ends. And next week, we're going to be talking about what men really want. You know, we have someone who's phenomenal. I'm not going to mention his name. But he's going to be talking about the difference between a wife and a mother and how it really, really dif differs to men. So he really, he's really passionate about this and wants to talk about what men truly want from a woman in terms of being a mother and a wife. Thank you very much, Chime, once again. Thank you for joining us today. That was so amazing. Uh, thank you for all the comments. I couldn't read through all of them. But thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you, Chichi. Oh, I think she's frozen. All right. Bye, guys. Chichi with things. I see. Okay, we can hear you, but what do you remember from Mom? Now, Dechola, come on the show next week and you can ask or you can tell him. We'll be happy to, to discuss that. Thank you.